Adding additional calendars to your Google Calendar. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going simply to show you how easy it is to add additional calendars to your Google Calendar. It is very easy and simple to do. All you have to do is as always follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. Now you have to type on Google calendar.google.com and you will be redirected to the calendar. The first thing that you need to make sure of is to get signed in to your account that you want to apply this modification to you. Now we have our Google calendar as you can see here we have the dates we have the events uh, in which I don't have here I have only a no title event. The first thing to add a calendar or uh, to make another calendar is to uh, see here, click on other calendars, the plus sign, and then we have choices. We have subscribe to calendar, create new calendar, browse calendars of interest from URL or you can import it. Let's go ahead and see all of those. Now click on subscribe to calendar. This is the first one. You are going to type the uh, calendar that you want to uh, subscribe to. For example, at calendar, this is a uh, testing account. For example, you can go ahead and put a description. A testing account also put a description here. The owner you, uh, you are seeing here. This is the owner. You can export the calendar or set it set this time zone as a primary you can make the calendar uh, visible to public here share with a specific people or group of people you can add people right here and even notification you can receive notification for events on this calendar you can set up the notifications all day event notification you can add some here are the other notification from e here on the changed events, cancelled events, events responses, daily agenda. You can put them and see them on email. It is up to you, for example. Uh, here we have the integration of the calendar. We have the URL. We have the embed code and everything. Now, when you go back to the menu, you will see here, this is the test and account agenda. Now, let's go ahead to create a new calendar. You can add or create a new calendar by simply clicking on that button. Now we have the name, for example. I'm going to put a testing account also. Description here, a testing account. And the time zone, it is up to you to choose. Then create a calendar. It is creating the calendar right now. And you can go ahead and configure it. Here we have the, uh, the um, same options that we were on the sharing ones. Now let's go to the uh, other method which is browse calendars of interest. You can see here uh, your contact. This is uh, for the birthdays, uh, regional holidays. You can browse all or you can see uh, the holidays filtered by country. We have here the global religious uh, holidays, sports or others uh, here is phases of the moon it is up to you to showcase for example uh, the uh, national uh, hockey league for example or for the football here at the nfl it will work from the country that you have set your time zone on and this is very simple now let's go back and add another these added calendars will be shown up right here you can add from URL, for example, you have a URL of someone sharing his agenda with you or your calendar, his calendar with you. You can go ahead and add this. And finally, the import, you can go ahead and import from your computer. It is uh, on the iCall format or VCS format. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you soon on the next one.